guys, I filmed this look today. I'm actually getting ready to go to, um, well, no. I'm waiting for my husband so he can come home and then we can go out for a little date night. We haven't been in so long because I'm just always tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I just thought, you know what? I either don't wear makeup or if I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna go for it. So that's what I did today. It's kind of a little festive inspired, so I'm not sure if I'm what I'm gonna call this video, but it's just, um, I just wanted something which would allow me to wear nude lips because probably gonna go for a burger. Um, so I didn't wanna wear anything that's just gonna be a hassle to reapply. Um, so I left the focus on the skin and the eyes. Hi guys, so first things first, I am going to prep my skin. I'm using the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. I love this stuff. It's great for prepping your skin before makeup and leaving it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna use Max Strobe Cream. Now this look is definitely about glowing skin and the eyeshadow of course. So I wanted to use my Max Strobe Cream which is just a cream with like lots of kind of iridescent shimmer and sheen running through it. It's not chunky glitter at all but it just adds really nice glow underneath your foundation. Then I'm going to use NARS Sheer Glow and my Armani Luminous Silk. I'm using the Sheer Glow because it has better coverage and I'm using the Armani Silk because I prefer the dewy finish to it. Then I'm taking Kiko's Full Coverage Concealer and I'm using this on a synthetic flat brush and I'm just packing that on but I'm gonna definitely blend it out using my finger and I'm using this as an eyeshadow base as well which is why you see me applying it to my lids as well Then I'm going to set that using Laura Mercier's Secret Brightening Powder. Guys, this powder is amazing for setting your under eyes. So if you're looking for a powder, definitely give this one a go. It uh, comes in only one colour now, I think. It used to come in three, but I just got the shade two, I think it's called. And it just works completely fine. It's translucent, doesn't have any colour to it. Then I'm going to basically brush my brows. I'm going to use the... Brow Wiz from Anastasia, but I'm just using the spoolie, I'm not actually using the product. And I'm just going to brush through my brows and then go ahead and fill them in like you guys have seen me do many times. Um, I'm going to fill them in a little bit more dramatic because of the eyeshadow look. It is quite dramatic, so you kind of want your brows to kind of match that a little. I'm going to take this awesome eyeshadow collection palette from Makeup Revolution and I'm just taking an iridescent kind of ivory coloured shadow. It has a little bit of shimmer on it so it's going to attract light and bring light and bounce light and all that good stuff. So I'm going to pop some in the inner corner of my eyes and the reason I'm doing this is just to open up the eyes because I am using kind of black shadow or I will be. And then I'm going to take some on my brow bone as well just to help lift that area too. Then I'm going to take this gorgeous pigment. This is Antique Gold, I think it's called, or Antique Bronze. And it's by MAC, and I'll put the definite name of all the products below. But I'm taking this on a 217 brush, and I'm just going to wash that over the lids. I'm not packing it on too intensely, or using any Fix Plus or any water or anything. I just want a nice wash of colour, basically. Then using the same brush I'm just going to take a black matte eyeshadow and you're going to see I'm just going to start to work this in to the outer corner of my eyes. So I look down, push the product in and just drag it across very gently and less is definitely more so definitely build it up. I know it's easy to just want to just whack it on all in one go but it will look a lot better if you just go in stages and just build up the intensity of the colour.
Then I'm going to take Max 224 brush. This is just a nice fluffy tapered brush and I'm using this just to make sure everything is blended and that there are no kind of stopped harsh stop lines or any edges. And then I'm going to take my inner eye brightener. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's just a nude eyeliner and I'm putting this in my waterline just to open up the eyes. I love doing this when I'm using a dark eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take Maybelline's Masterpiece Eyeliner. I couldn't find my Stilla Liquid Liner, which is the one that I prefer. I do like this Maybelline eyeliner, but it does kind of hold the eyeshadow and kind of clog up. So it's one of those eyeliners that is probably better to use if you're not wearing any eyeshadow. I'm going to clean up any kind of fallout or mess from underneath the eyeliner just to make it look a little bit cleaner under there. And I'm just using a baby wipe to do that. Then it's time for mascara. I'm using this tester version still of my Clarins. I think it's dramatically long lashes. I love it because it's such a short wand, um, like most tester mascaras, that you can really get in there. Then I'm going to use these Eyelure lashes, um, actually no not Eyelure, they're eye candy lashes, sorry. Uh, I'll put the number below as well. They are quite dramatic but they're really comfy to wear. And I prefer to apply my eyelashes with my fingers but some people prefer tweezers. It's all about what's comfortable. And then I'm going to take my liquid liner again and just go over the band and the glue that's dried to make sure we can basically not see that and conceal it. Then I'm going to use my Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Powder. This is a yellow toned powder and I can't thank you guys enough who recommended it. It's gorgeous. I'm going to go over the under eye area, even though we did set that. I'm going to go over it again and I'm going to powder areas where I'm going to put bronzer and contour. Then of course time for the contour kit. I'm using Anastasia's contour kit and I'm using a small defining brush and I'm, the reason I'm doing this is when it comes to contouring I just I know exactly where I want it and I don't want it to really go anywhere else so I'm using a small brush first. And then you'll see that I'm taking my Natural Collection bronzer. This is such a lovely bronzer. It's a little orange toned, but I actually like that. And I'm using a MAC angled brush and I'm just going over my contour and using the bronzer to basically help blend that out and to warm up the whole look. Then I'm going to use my Coastal Scents 10 blush palette. I'm taking this kind of almost peachy gingery shade. It's a matte blusher, so it's perfect for this look. It's very similar to Max Melba or Peach Twist, but without the shimmer. And then I'm going to take my highlighter. This is the Mary Luminizer highlighter, and I've been really enjoying using this with a fan brush. And I just go to town with this highlighter. I absolutely love it. Then I'm going to add some glitter eyeliner. This is just a cheap brand I got from um, the drugstore. I think it's Ruby and Millie or Collection 2000. But it's just a gold eyeliner and I'm putting this on my lower lash line. And I'm also going to add some to the inner corner where we put the MAC pigment as well, just to add a little festive sparkle. Then I'm going to take my MUA Luxe Velvet Lipstick. This one reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the colour I'll put down below. <laughs> um, but before that I applied lip balm because 
it is a matte lipstick and they are quite drying and because they're kind of cheaper they're a little bit more drying than the Anastasia ones so I just added like a pinky lip balm onto my lips first and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the velvet liquid lipstick and I'm gonna use my fingers to basically blend that all in because it is quite drying And we're done and I think I have one thing to do which yes is set my makeup which is with a makeup revolution fixing spray I do not like the smell of this spray but it does work I have to say and then gown off time to take my hair down give it a little flip and yeah that's pretty much the finished look guys I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something and don't forget to check out my previous video